Hi folks, Dr. Bob McCauley. I'll be rebutting some really, really um, unorthodox ideas coming from Dr. Robert Young. Dr. Robert Young, PhD, um, he wrote a book called um, PH Miracle. It's a pretty good book. Uh, it's really a big seller. He's, he's really a really well known guy. Um, but he's got some pretty unorthodox ideas about a few things, and I want to get into those today. Um, let's get a couple things out of the way. Number one, there's lots to agree with him on. Um, for instance, he's a big supporter of uh, alkaline ionized water, as am I, if you watch me at all or um, follow any of my stuff. I'm a big supporter of ionized water. Uh, he likes, I pretty much promotes a vegan diet. But even some of his ideas on, on meat eating and vegetarianism are kind of, well, here, let's take a look. The, the, one, the, the one food that probably destroys the body the quickest, that throws it into demineralization and a state of acidosis, is animal protein. If you want to kill yourself quickly, eat meat. Now, this goes on and on through this video, and, you know, I'm against, uh, you know, eating meat, fish, eggs, and dairy, and um, I just did this video on it. If you followed my last video, this is the same one you got now. But I'll tell you something. I mean, this business about, you know, meat is going to kill you, this is, this is scare tactics. It's not healthy. It's physiologically not healthy for you to eat animal protein, and as I always make the point, cooked animal protein, meat, fish, eggs, and dairy. Okay, because it destroys the, the peptide bonds between the amino acids and makes a mess out of it. And it's difficult for the body to digest. It, it's a very acid food. But this kind of just, it's going to kill you? I mean, it'll kill you faster than anything. If you want to you die in your 50s, 60s, you may make it to your 70s. Then eat beef, chicken, pork, and fish. Go for it. Kill yourself. Knock yourself out. You know, there's a double loss of base or alkalinity when you eat meat. Meat does not add any nutritional value other than just destroy your life. You know, I don't really care for the cavalier a attitude, you know, you want to go kill yourself and knock yourself out. But it's like no nutritional value to meat. Here I am defending meat now because some guy that just has no basis for what he's saying is telling you there's, n there's no nutrition in meat at all. There's nothing there. Well, yeah, there, there is. You can live on meat. It's not healthy, but it's not going to kill you. I just, I don't get this. And... You know, it robs you of your alkaline buffers, throws you into latent tissue acidosis, constipates your body, you know, and that's why most people stink. You know, that's why they have body odor, that's why their elimination smell, that's why they have gas or flatulence. They eat meat. Meat eaters stink and their elimination smell really, really bad. Oh, and vegetarians don't. You can smell somebody. It's a meat eater. You can just look at their eyes and their skin, you know. You can smell somebody who's a meat eater? You know, I gotta tell you, I don't really, you, you know, you can't really hire vegetarians when, even when you're in my bu business. I mean, it'd be nice to hire vegetarians or vegans, but you can't find any because it's such a small percentage of the population. So I work around a whole bunch of people who work for me and that come in every single day, and very uh, none of them are vegetarians. They stink. <laughs> now, I will admit that people that eat a lot of meat, um, you really can tell from their eyes and their face, and especially if them eating a lot of meat their whole life. Yeah, there's a certain, I can, I can spot it very, very quickly. But they stink and they smell. This is ridiculous. In fact, they, a lot of times, the people that eat meat start looking like the animals they're eating. Because there's actually intelligent there, matter, that actually starts shifting. You know, the animals they eat, and many times they become. So if you eat enough chicken, you begin to look like a chicken. If you eat enough beef, you look like a cow. If you start eating, uh, you know, a lot of fish, a lot of, a lot of halibut, you just, you just start talking like this and you start looking like a fish or something. This is insane. I, I, I don't get this at all. I mean, it, it doesn't help the cause of promoting a vegan diet one bit. You look, you eat enough of the animal and you look like, because there's some intelligence there. What is this guy talking about? There's some intelligence and it's, it's transmorphing. And 
it's probably probably the the worst of all foods that one could put in their body. I see no nutritional value whatsoever. Okay, here I am <laughs> defending meat eating again, but this is so yes, I'm sorry, there are nutrients in animal protein. There's no nutrition at all. Yes, there is. You know, it's just I'm making this video because this guy is so well respected. I, I was uh, I was in an expo one time, and he did Robert Young did a did a talk at this expo. I mean, they were lined up out the door. There must have been two or three hundred people in the room jamming in to see to listen to the words, and this is what he thinks. Uh, our bodies do not feed on calories. Our bodies feed on electrons. Electrical potential. Our bodies are electrical. If you don't believe me, put your finger in a light socket and you'll find out very, very quickly how electrical you are. Okay, I have a screwdriver and I'm going to go stick it into an electrical socket. And what does that prove about the screwdriver? That it's, um, it's bioelectric? That it's I don't know what he I don't even know what he's talking about here of course you go stick your finger in a light socket you're gonna fry uh, you're gonna fry yourself and get anything's gonna fry itself and when you stick your finger in an electrical socket this proves that we're bioelectric I mean we are bioelectric we're full of electricity I, I make the point in, with biomagnets that we are we are biomagnetic beings but stick your finger in a light socket and that proves what now proteins in general are harmful to the body and should be eliminated. The diet that I recommend is a basically a low or no protein diet. Now, well I guess we should uh, define what a low protein diet is and a no protein because a no protein diet there are three things that belong in the body fats, proteins, carbohydrates. Th th those, those are the three types of foods that we consume and I always recommend 80% uh, carbohydrates approximately, 10% fat and 10% protein. So you want a no protein diet? Well protein is are the building blocks of our body. They're very much needed. So I'm wondering where he's going to get here. It's, well I bet you maybe it's from algae. Don't count on it. Build blood with vinegar. You cannot build blood with mushrooms and algaes, but you can break the body down if you eat them. I mean think about it folks. Where do algae and, and fungi, where do you, you find them? Under rotting decaying bodies in stagnant, poisonous, toxic uh, lakes, streams, and rivers. Okay, so the only place you find algae and, and, and fungi and fungus are in stagnant, toxic, decaying pools and, and water? That's where you find them? Well, no, you actually find them everywhere on the planet. Everywhere. Everywhere you go, you find talk, you find algae and you find mushrooms. You know, and, and most mushrooms are, are healthy and almost all algae is healthy and some of it's toxic. And some fungi and some mushrooms are, are very toxic. Some funguses are very toxic. But to sit there and say, well, they're, they're just found in uh, stagnant, toxic lakes and pools, that, that, well, huh? I mean... Who cares if it has good mineral or chlorophyll content? Biologically, the, its, whole, its whole purpose is to break down dead bodies. And every time you put algaes and, and fungi and, uh, and bacteria that we call healthy bacteria probiotics, all you do is take one step closer to the grave. I'm really struggling to try to understand this because he's confusing algae, which is a plant, chlorella is a plant, Spirulina is a cyanobacteria, and then fungi is a fungi. You know that's that's the funguses. You know uh, you've got yeast, mold, fungus, this kind of stuff. So th those are totally different, and yet these are all, as they say, recycling agents. No, um, f f fungi are recycling agents, no doubt about it. I've said before that cancer is a recycling agent. In other words, you're no longer part of nature, and so the cancer sort of saying, you know, we're just going to recycle you back to nature. And that's what funguses do as, as well. They, they, um, they recycle us back to nature. But this is what algae does. Well, there's a lot of confusion here. I, you know, I just, I can barely follow this. Our bodies need more light. They need more energy, not more biological transformations that are essential to life to breaking down dead bodies so that they can go back to what, from whence they came so they can be part of some organized matter. And by the way, you know, we're, I'm a huge promoter of the friendly bacteria we call probiotics. 
And what he's telling you here is if you go anywhere near bacteria and put that into your body, you're really accelerating, accelerating the aging process. You're really killing yourself here. Well, I would say that um, probiotics is one of the healthiest things you can do for yourself. And we live in a sea of bacteria. And most bacteria is healthy for you. And some bacteria is very dangerous, such as E. coli or anthrax, as a couple of examples. Oh, they're really, really dangerous. But uh, probiotics, the friendly bacteria, we really can't be healthy without them. Acidophilus and bifidus, those are a couple of examples. But he's telling you here again, those are, you put the, you're just accelerating the aging process and, and, and you know, you're running as fast as you can toward the grave. Condition. If you want the diet for immortality, all you have to do is understand that maintaining the alkaline design of the body, nothing decomposes within that particular environment. Okay, the diet for immortality. Wow. That's quite a statement. In immortality. You know, I will, I've told you this a thousand times. Um, the body is capable of healing itself of any disease. Um, and that, you know, we're, we're always in a position where we can heal the body of anything and we're incredibly resistant. And I keep telling you all the time, I am not going to die of a disease, a chronic disease or, or an infectious disease. It's just not going to happen. I know I'm going to die someday. It'll be of an accident or it'll be murder. But I'm not going to die of that, but you've got a diet for immortality. Well, I'd like to know what that diet is because all he's doing is telling us you just need to stay alkaline. You just need to, to, to balance the acid and the alkaline in your diet, and you've got this diet for immortality. Well, no, I don't think so. And I haven't heard him say a word about raw fruits and vegetables because if you really want the ultimate diet, that's where health lies. The integrity of the health of the cell because the cell is only as healthy as its environment. And if the environment is not alkaline, then the cell will start transforming into algaes, into mushrooms. Just, you know, I just, I mean, just, you heard what he just said. I mean, <laughs> I had to go back and listen to this thing like 10 times. Did he really say that? So your, your cells uh, will, uh, will transform in, into f uh, fungi and algaes. Again, conflating the two is bizarre, but, you know, your cells don't evolve into other species. Algae doesn't evolve, evolve into fungi. Your human body, your red blood cells don't evolve into algae. I mean, it just gets crazier by the second. An electron micrograph of lung cancer? The lungs are full of algae and mushrooms. That's what the tissues look like. They look like under the sea, you know, at Disneyland when you, you see all these... Uh, carbuncles and algaes and fungi, you know, and that's what the lungs look like as they decompose. Um, but that's just, that's just, these are just the evolutionary forms of, of decaying matter. You, so when, when you, when you dying or you're dead or you've already, or you've already died, I mean, he doesn't really make it clear, and you look at somebody's lungs under electron microscope, you're going to see algae, really? That's a recycling agent. Now, fungi, oh, yeah, we could, you could find if they're dead. I mean, p people, as we live on a, on a garbage diet, your body does fill up with yeast, mold, and fungus. Anybody who has cancer is going to have these, these elements in their body. You, you surely have you've heard of, of candida. Candida is, you know, is a yeast, and it's a yeast infection. It's found in both men and women. But in, you know, in women, we always hear about candida. They get it in the vaginal area, and it's very uncomfortable for them. Um, but that's because they, they, they don't live on probiotics. They don't put the healthy uh, bacteria in their body. They, they don't live on a healthy diet. They live on a junk, bunch of junk foods. They don't, and, and again, they don't put the probiotics into their body. They're, they're not really keeping themselves healthy from within. But he's you know, telling us that, you know, your lungs are looking like this under electron microscope and they're turned into algae. Algae is not a recycling agent. Fungi is. But anyway, I wanted to make this video and rebut it, not because this is some of the most insane things I've ever heard in my life, but because this guy, Dr. Young, is just so famous. So famous. I mean, he's so well respected. Um, you know, he got himself arrested a couple years ago for... Uh, you know, I don't. I really don't know what it was about. He was making some, some maybe some claims about curing cancer and this kind of stuff. And you don't go around doing that stuff. You won't hear me saying that. I, I don't. I don't have. I don't have any products that cure cancer. I have a lifestyle that can reverse any disease. I have a lifestyle that I can show you how to do. 
um, and you know and, and get into my seven component health protocol and uh, that will show you how you can cure yourself of any disease but I don't have any products and I think he got into something like that and got himself into a lot of trouble so I, I don't know the whole situation but the man is so famous he's so well known he's so well respected and this is the kind of stuff you get out of him he held he hates algae okay so there and I we're button heads left and right okay he hates algae and he hates probiotics and then he he does promote vegetarianism, veganism, but I mean, listen to the kind of things he's saying and to promote it. It's it's insane. It's insane. I don't I don't get this at all. I really could not stop laughing through most of this video. That's the truth. I mean, it took me a long time to make it. I mean, I, I just was almost shaking my head. Anyway, check out some of the other videos on veganism and vegetarianism, and we'll see you next time.